to do things a little differently tonight because I like to do things differently. Tell me. Time me, but do not put the flags up. I don't care about the time, but I do want you to tell me at the end what my time was, okay? Okay, you have 10 All seconds. Right. Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. And um, I'm going to step off. Some of the training I've had is to step off, take a 30 seconds to a minute to get yourself going. Once I walk in, I will immediately start. So that's when you can start, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, my fellow Toastmasters. My name is Ricky. I was born in San Diego, California, but my story really starts with a click. You see, as a young man, I heard this sound and I had no idea what it was and that it would actually be my life's purpose. Because as a young man, I had my fair share of shenanigans like any other young man living close to the Balboa golf course. My buddies and I would go and uh, steal a round or two of golf. And uh, we could have been guilty of some of the balls that came up missing from time to time. You know, we needed to use them. But what I loved to do more than anything was actually play characters. Some of the characters I would play would be an Italian plumber who would ride a green dinosaur and uh, would save his princess from another castle. And uh, I would also play this little elfin boy that had a master sword and would drink little potions. Eventually I started writing about characters like a little blue robot that would run around and beat up other robots and absorb their powers and use them for, him, for his own uh, capabilities. Then I started writing more in-depth stories that led me to a world filled with many dungeons and dragons. And I would basically take my pals and myself on these adventures where we would amass a lot of wealth and plenty of booty. But then uh, as I got into my college years, I needed to bring something else on. So I started doing some acting. And as I was acting, I started studying the greats in the acting world. People like Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Michael J. Fox, and Steve Martin to name a few. I was curious, what drove Arnold Schwarzenegger to come to the US, compete in Mr. Olympia, and become an American actor? How did Michael J. Fox play such youthful, charismatic characters? And Steve Martin, how did he write such great comedies like Roxanne and L.A. Story and then star in them himself? So then, around the time I was 25, I heard the click again. And I was looking around for it going, where is it? Where is this coming from? And finally I saw a young woman holding a camera and taking pictures of her little model friend. And I realized here, right in front of me, is my life's purpose, staring me right in the face. No longer would I be just going after boring corporate goals and make money. Now I could have fun, entertain people, and make money at the same time. But there's one more thing missing, guys. And that's why I'm here at Toastmasters. I need to learn how to be a leader. If you watch a movie that has a great leader like Jason Bourne or James Bond, they know their purpose, you know what their purpose is, and they're gonna go get it. And that's why I'm here, my fellow Toastmasters. I'm here to learn how to project my purpose so that all of us can help each other in volition mm -hmm. to go out there and accomplish our purposes in life. Thank you. It's a lot of fun being introduced to this by process of volition. <laughs> However, it's my own fault because I did not print out agendas for tonight. The click. Ricky gave us an interesting introduction to himself. I liked the fact that he decided to go off to one side and gather his thoughts and take a deep breath and all that sort of thing, whatever was going on back there. And when he got here, he did a really good job of explaining to us about his misspent youth and how he wasn't exactly an angel while he was growing up, but that he provided us, by telling us that story, he provided us with a nice lead-in to his maturation and discovery of purpose, which is really a pretty good introduction 
for uh, an icebreaker. So I appreciated that. Positives. Ricky, you have a really good, clear speaking voice and you made really good use of your hands to help emphasize what your points were going to be. You put the speech together pretty well, but I think on balance, you should have just let Apti raise flags when it was appropriate, because I'm sure you could have kept that topic going for at least another minute, minute and a half, with no effort at all. Still, I liked your message. The speech was well crafted. You provided us with some strong insights into who you are, which is what the purpose of an icebreaker is. And all in all, good job. Good icebreaker. Thank you very much.